Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you. It was the voice of Scrooge's nephew who had come into the office so quickly that this was the first intimation of his approach. Blah, humbug, was Scrooge's reply. Christmas a humbug, Uncle? You don't mean that, surely? Yes, I do. What right have you to be merry? What reason have you to be merry? You're poor enough. Oh, come now. What reason have you to be miserable, then? What reason have you to be morose? You're rich enough. Ah, humbug! I would like Malton to celebrate this little book in song. I would love the choirs in Malton and District to come out and dress in their Victorian gear and, and sing a Christmas carol uh, and fill the marketplace with song at Christmas for all the little ones and all the families to come along and enjoy it. To bring together this little book and song, it would just make the best Christmas ever and we're working really, really hard to make sure that Malton turns out next year to celebrate Christmas in the way it should be celebrated. Selena Scott contacted me in 2012 to say a very rare edition of A Christmas Carol was up for auction in New York. So together we brought a team of uh, local business people and the, the local community together to fundraise uh, to raise £27,000 to buy the book at auction and bring the book back to Malton in 2012, Christmas of 2012. If Charles Dickens came back today to Moulton, he would recognise the place. The marketplace hasn't changed at all, one or two cosmetic things, but generally the layout and everything's still the same. Charles Dickens actually stayed in this very hotel as far as we know because his brother lived in Moulton, so Dickens had several things to come to Moulton for, A to see his brother and B to see his best friend Charles Smithson. Smithson's office is where Scrooge's office was based on. This is what we call Scrooge's Counting House Museum. It was in the 19th century, the office of a solicitor called Smithson. And one of the sons, Charles Smithson, was a solicitor in London. And he and Charles Dickens became great friends. Moulton badly needs tourists to come to visit to see what Moulton has to offer, which is a great deal. And a festival with everyone involved, all the shopkeepers and everything, it will be a fantastic advertisement for the town. Action! Songs of Praise. It's a new um, style magazine programme. The local community is really behind it. We've got the Salvation Army taking part today in the filming. Uh, we've got the local bands, we've got choirs, school kids, head teachers. Uh, shopkeepers, so really uh, the town is getting behind this project. Uh, so we're hoping that Songs of Praise and other media um, that get involved um, can help capitalise on Dickens' link to, to the county. We got the idea as this sort of mulled wine and gingerbread, that was the traditional sort of thing, so we thought we'd do exactly the same thing, bring a bit of joy for Christmas um, and giving it away, uh, which is which is what Christmas is all about, isn't it really? So we've got uh, gingerbread for the kids and the mulled wine for, for me, hopefully. It's fantastic that James Martin is here and um, you know it's thrilling that he has his restaurant here at the Talbot Hotel. But a Dickens festival as well would be would, would be marvellous for the town, bringing in more visitors, and uh, already building on the good work that we've done to create Malton as a as a foodie destination for the for the north of England. It would be really brilliant because there's such so much history here with Dickens, and yet we don't exploit it, and we should do. But well, it would really liven up the town. It'd be really magic. Uh, it would complement the foodie side of things, which were is being pushed by the estate. Well, this is just a taster, isn't it, for what's going to happen next year when we have all the choirs from Malton and District packing out this market square and singing their hearts out in celebration of a Christmas carol. Charles Dickens gave the book to Malton and the people in Malton are going to repay it in a wonderful way if they can come along and sing like these young people from Whitby have come along and sung today for us. It'll just be fabulous, won't it?
To find out more about Dickens in Yorkshire and how you can be involved, log on to our website, dickensgifttoyorkshire.com.